Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. Today is more of a product update than a review. I've already done the full technical review of the Run Hood Power modular battery power station. You can buy as many batteries as you want and have them at different state of charges and install them in the back of this solar generator. And it's one of the only ones on the market that does it. The product is launching today. So let's just go over a couple of the features I didn't cover before. I got a lot of questions about this little micro inverter. Is it pure sign? What can you do with it? Can you charge the batteries with solar? Could you charge them with USB? Uh, what about solar? I didn't show the solar panel last time. So let's go ahead and check it out. First test, unfortunately today we're having thunderstorms. It's the beginning of monsoon season here in Arizona. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it means the sun's gonna be gone for the next couple of months. So getting some really good solar testing is gonna be difficult. But since this video has to come out same day and I can't control the weather, here's a look at the solar panel. Okay, here we have the run hood power with the solar panel. We just had a thunderstorm. But now there's just enough sun to do this quick test. Here we have the 120 watt run hood power panel. It is outputting 71 watts. I don't know if anybody can even see that. Well, anyway, it said 71 watts and now the wattage is going down. It's ticking down because the clouds are rolling in. So on this really bad day, I got 71 watts. One of the things I did cover in my main review, and I'll put a link to that up here and in the description of this video, if you didn't see the review of the Run Hood Power, it's pretty cool. Make sure you go back and watch it. I did show it charging with 100 watt power delivery because this has a bi-directional 100 watt power delivery port so you can charge it with solar, cigarette lighter from your car, or wall power, of course. So there we have it charging with 100 watt USB power delivery. This does have a bi-directional port right there. But what I didn't show in the main review was you can actually remove the battery and charge the battery separately with USB. Now they do include these little boxes that clip onto the battery that have USB ports and one of them is a bi-directional 100 watt. All you have to do is click the adapter onto the battery now plug in your power delivery charger or a power delivery solar panel. So you can actually charge this directly with solar if you buy a solar panel that offers power delivery charging. Now the Run Hood power solar panel does not. It's a basic panel that's designed to charge the main unit only and doesn't charge the batteries separately. Now the Run Hood power does include a power delivery cable and a power delivery charger if you wanna charge these batteries up separately. Now there's really nothing to see here except lights blinking. I can't tell you how fast this is working because there's no display on it, but it's charging at 100 watts because I did test it before with my USB tester. And the next thing I got a lot of questions about was this little inverter. Now this is a little 80 watt inverter. People wanna know, is it pure sign? And what can you do with it? All right, I pretty much said in my video it was useless, but then there are people saying, well, 80 watts, I can do stuff with that, and is it pure sign? Well, let's find out. Click it in, the light comes on, let you know it's working. Now let's go ahead and do a pure sine wave check. Well, well that's a surprise. It is a pure sign. It's doing 112 volts at 60 hertz, and it's a pure sine wave. So this little 80 watt micro inverter is actually pure sine. Now, that is really rare to see that because usually these little tiny inverters are not pure sign. That means you could run anything on this under 80 watts. So let's try a couple things. Here, I got a lamp here. It's one of the things you can run off of 80 watts. I don't own any incandescent bulbs. If you're old school and you wanna run a 60 watt incandescent bulb, I'm sure it'll do it, but I don't have any to demonstrate that. Works just fine. That's a LED light. No problem there running that. Now let's put it to the test of something a lot more powerful. Now I know a lot of you guys probably don't have the latest, greatest laptops that charge with USB. Now if you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, or like this is a high-end Asus gaming slash 
uh, editing laptop for editing videos as a high-end graphics card in it. These charge with 100 watt USB. Now I demonstrated that in the original review that yeah, of course I can run my laptop all day, probably for a couple of days on a pair of Runhood batteries. But can I run it off of AC wall power like an old school laptop? Is 80 watts enough? Well, let's boot it up and find out. All right, it did not like this laptop. It actually gave me a red light as it booted up. Now, because this laptop pulls so much power on boots, it did trip the inverter and shut it off. I got a little red light there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and reset this inverter. And I'm betting if I put this laptop in low power mode, it won't be a problem. Well, there we go. I put it in integrated graphics mode, which it's just using the, the graphics on the chip in the processor instead of the separate dedicated graphics, which saves a lot of power. I put this in low power mode and I'm having no problems running it off the 80 watt run hood. So yeah, if you have a lower end or an older laptop that doesn't charge by USB, you can certainly just use your brick like I have here. This is the brick for this laptop, and I have it plugged into the Run Hood Power battery, which means you don't even need to take the whole power station with you. You wanna do your work on a picnic table out in the middle of the forest? Well, all you need is this. Take this with your laptop. You can actually plug in a jet pack and use this to charge your laptop. So it's absolutely 100% possible, probably on most laptops. Even if you have a high-end laptop, just put it in low power mode so it doesn't trip the inverter, and it should run directly off the battery, which is what I'm doing right now. So that little 80 watt pure sign inverter isn't so useless after all. There's probably one more thing I can show you guys which is out of the ordinary, so let's try that out. So if you're camping in the desert where the humidity a lot of times goes 10% or less, you might wanna have one of these. Now this is just a Walmart VIX brand humidifier, and I use this in my RV. Will it work on an 80 watt inverter? Ah, uh, that's actually a pretty cool mist. It feels, feels pretty good. Yes, it does work on an 80 watt inverter. So you can run something like this in a tent or your RV. Say you don't wanna turn on your main inverter in your RV and waste a lot of power. You can use this little tiny 80 watt inverter, which wastes probably less than a watt of power to run small appliances such as this. So I think this is a really good example of what you can do on a small inverter. So that about wraps it up for what I wanted to show you for the Run Hood Power Modular Battery System, which is available now on Indiegogo. Now, one last thing I wanna mention is if you decide to get one of these within the next three days from their campaign page, they're gonna throw in a free gift. Now, I don't know what that free gift is, but hey, it's a free gift. And just like any other campaign, the sooner you get it, the better because the price will be the lowest. Right now, since it just launched today, it's on Super Early Bird for the best price it's ever gonna be. So if you wanna get the best price and get a free gift, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down here in the description of the video and at the bottom of the screen with a QR code you can scan with any mobile device. It'll take you to their campaign page where you can decide if you wanna pick one of these up. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Uh, well, this is brilliant. It's the only time I can test and it's raining. So there it is with the legs. It is at a very steep angle, about 60 degrees. So I'm assuming it's for early morning, late evening, or if you live in Alaska. So I wanna let you all know that I have new video in the outro. I've had the same outro on Hobotech for like two years. I finally got some new footage shot. The last time I was in Lake Havasu in January, Saznak, my friend Stan, the trucker, he got his drone out and we did some pretty much repeat footage of what we did the two years before for the outro. But I think this one is a lot better. It's a lot cooler too. So for those of you that always skip the outro and never watch it, Watch it at least once and check it out. RV Golf Guy, Andrew Von Rupp, Brian Lubbers, John Stacey Soroka, Dr. Steve Eisenhower.